Hello and welcome to Shedcast, news and discussion from across the tabletop. Today, uh, I'm here with Roger. Hello. He's joined me again. Um, and we today we're looking at something really special, hot off the press. We have got Airfix Battles, 20 millimeter battle game, um, in the shed. Roger's just got a copy of it. He hasn't even opened the cellophane yet. It's all still in the packaging. We're going to open it on the show for you today. Uh, but first, I just wanted to uh, have a few messages. So, if you want to check out our other Shedcast videos, please click on the picture down in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and if you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, then Roger is pointing you in the right direction for Almost. subscribing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, so that way you, you don't miss out on all the cool stuff um, that we will be bringing to you through from the shed. Um, we've got some really interesting stuff as well coming up in July that Roger and I are going to chat about in a little bit. We do. Uh, but let's get stuck into Airfix Battles. So we shall cut to our second camera, which is Ooh. a first time for Shedcast. Yeah. So here we go. Let's just switch that one off. Okay, so Airfix Battles. This is the box we can see here, the introductory war game. Um, and it looks like you get some nice cards and dice in the exterior. And we can see that it's a World War II game. It is. Yes. <laughs> okay, do you want to do, do the honours? Let's have a little look. Oh, you can see you get a nice uh, lot of tokens, um, some map tiles, uh, cards and dice in the box. Roger is... Uh, no kitchen knives allowed here. Just screwdrivers in the shed, Roger, so you got to do the best you can with that. Um, and it's from Modifius. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, Modifius, Modifius Entertainment with Airfix, obviously. Let's have a look. The plastic is off. Let's open up this beauty. What have we got inside? Oh, hello. You can straight away see the... Uh, rule books you've got your axis forces cards got command cards obviously some dice <laughs> in world war ii green obviously yep although i think you've got a few blue ones in there as well you can see blue and green dice yeah we've obviously got our battles book which wants to have all our rules in yeah it looks nicely laid out very clear yeah, and some illustrations and tables and also it's not a hefty book no it's uh, quite thin as you can see yeah nice introductory battles so does that imply that there's going to be more of this coming out then do you reckon? yeah when i spoke to them at salute mm -hmm. uh, they were saying that this is just the intro one which is going to run on an almost grid system apparently okay however shall i open up one of these card packs while you're looking at that so we can have a look at those as well i think that's a However, we do get some maps in the box, like see here. Oh, excellent, little fields and with craters. So we've got the, the grids here marked out by the little X's, which you might not be able to see too well there. So oh, I'll just yeah. hold this up a little bit so you can get a clear look at some of them. Yep, we can see that. So it's kind of a grid system on the map to make it sort of. Uh, so it's, I'm, ge I'm guessing it's kind of a simpler, no, no rulers. So this is the simplified version. Mm -hmm. But apparently they are going to be bringing one out using um, measurements, so in fact, so inches, as we all like in wargaming. Okay. But these are nice and double-sided. Oh, which I think it's a nice touch. Yeah, very nice. So you get a few extra battlefields. So that's one there. Yep, we can see that there's a f another one there. I'll, I'll unfold that one and bring it back. This one looks like it's got a nice uh, road. It's always a, 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 a decision point in a World War II game, isn't it? Yeah, a fork in a road. Had to, had to hold them, get yeah. your tanks around. Yeah. And this looks much, much more rural. Yeah, some trees, some craters. Looks pretty good. It's Rocky very outcrop here. It's good. Um, it's fairly durable. Yeah, it's quite nice and thick actually. Yeah, looks like that will take a 
bit of shuffling around on the tabletop. Yeah, that's quite, so that's quite nice. And then we've got our first of our tokens. So it's probably good to point out at this stage that there are no miniatures in the game. Yeah, you don't get miniatures in the game because you can use Airfix miniatures or any other 20mm models. But instead you get tokens for everything. So you can see the infantry there. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you can see those. You've got a bit and of also artillery. some tanks here. Are those anti-tank guns or are they... Uh, yes, it looks like we've got some anti-tank guns here. Yep. In addition to that, it looks like we've got some hedges and stone walls. Okay, so and terrain as well. Some more terrain here in the form of buildings. Excellent. Okay. And sm smoke tokens. So some smoke ah, screens yeah, must yeah. be a thing. Excellent. Moving on to the next one. We've got more troops and tanks. This must be the Germans. Looks like some hands of fours. <laughs> I think. You can, you're a good tank spotter, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to the Shermans that were on the other one. Yeah. Again, some more terrain, some again more hedges and mm -hmm. buildings. And our, ge our German infantry here. These chaps in the grey. Yeah, that's great. And then we've got on here. We've got some yeah, more again. Yeah. Rough terrain. Some number tokens, which are interesting. I wonder if that's. Um, there's going to be some sort of picking tokens randomizer. Yeah, I'm wondering that as well. And markers to show where the rough terrain is, so that's clearly going to have an effect on perhaps movement or maybe yep. cover. Yeah, excellent. Okay. It looks like, are these potentially, do you think, obje objective markers down here? Looks like a, 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 yeah, that looks a like briefcase with some important yeah, documents. Must, must be what everyone's after. Yep. And these look almost like commands. Yeah. Things. Yeah. So I'm wondering if perhaps that's it. And of course we've got some more tanks here. Yeah. Looks like is that, is that a tiger? I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Excellent. Okay. Right. So that's some good tokens. Maybe have a look at the cards now. So first up, we're going to have a look at the unit cards, the anatomy of these cards, and what it tells you about all the different things you can do. Okay. So looking at the cards. So first up, the, what these stars indicate here is the points value of each unit. This is clearly going to be based on how useful it is in the game, much like any other wargaming system. From the low ones, like the veterans, all the way up to three or four or even five stars. These symbols here indicate what faction they belong to, the stars for the allies and the crosses for the axis. The, um, the little icons there represent your movement and your war dice value which you use for attacks and for morale rolls. And here in the white box are the unit special rules, each detailed per unit. It shows you the range for your weapon, uh, how much damage it does and any special rules such as re-rolls or things to do with saves. Or what kind of gun it is such as small arms or an anti-tank gun. So these are the standard unit cards, aren't they, that you get in the They box are. Set. These all come in the core game along with quite a lot more. You do get a big deck of cards. And here are the command cards. So what we can see is we've got a set of special orders. And you, with these, you can have an either or an or, or just a straight statement of what the card does. You also have interrupt cards, which can do special things. So obviously I think a special order you better play in your turn, but an interrupt you better use in your opponent's turn. Right, to get your units out of the way. Talking of units, yeah, here we've got the extra cards that came with the game for pre-ordering, although I'm sure they're going to be available, such as fancy things like this, of course, the Tiger II, and the Panther, so expanding the German armour, everyone will love that. And here we see the Brits, you can see the British flag, Got some commandos more. and a firefly. These guys are all high star value uh, units, and you can see they've got a lot of kit that they can use. That firefly is actually a captain. Wow. So that's pretty special. That so is a command tank. Well, that was a good look at the cards. Now back to the shed. Great. So that was a really good look at uh, Airfix Battles there, 20 millimeter game. Yeah. Um, it's interesting without the miniatures. Uh, I look forward to giving you a game. Yeah, we'll try and get one with miniatures. Yes, that would be good. Maybe at Warlords Wargaming Club. Yeah, we can yeah. do that. 
Okay, cool. So we'll have a look into that in more depth. We'll have a couple of games. Then we'll probably film one uh, so we can bring that to you guys as well so you can see an actual playthrough of Airfix Battles, which looks really interesting. Um, so Roger's going to come back um, in the shed at some point soon, aren't you? I will be, unfortunately, for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> because there's something else that Roger's doing for us. There is. On the 17th of July, I'm up to the Forge World Open Day up, at no up in Nottingham. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get you guys a good sneak preview of a lot of the Forge World things coming up. And maybe if we're lucky, there'll even be more Blood Bowl. Excellent. Excellent. More Bob Blood Bowl all the time. It's great. I think that's a lot of people's uh, yeah. things, uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Any hints at other teams and all that kind of stuff? More miniatures? Well, we, that'd be great. As we saw in the previous video, we saw a few pictures of the upcoming dwarves. Yep, we did. So with a bit of luck, we might see some more of them. Yep. Absolutely excellent. So that's going to be really cool. So we're really going to look forward to uh, what Roger brings back from Forge World Open Day. Um, so yeah. So And maybe another Primark. Ooh. If we're lucky, you never know. We tease. <laughs> we can but hope. <laughs> okay, so in order to not miss out on all of that good stuff, please subscribe to the channel. I'm not pointing at Roger, I'm pointing at the subscribe button here. Um, and to check out our other videos, go down here to the other Shedcast videos. Check that out. We've got a video on Blood Bowl. Uh, Roger took some really good pictures. Yeah, we've got Blood Bowl one. We've got the last Forge World Open Day. So if yes. you missed pictures of Lehman Russ, oh yes, he's on there. Yep, absolutely brilliant. Um, but yes, please do uh, like the video, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we really hope we're bringing some interesting stuff to you guys. Um, and the more of you guys that subscribe and like what we're doing, the more we can do. Yeah. So that's great. So I think that's been a really good session with uh, Airfix. Um, and we'll probably just leave it there. So until next time, we'll see you in the shed.